Absolutely, but guys, let's begin our conversation here on the markets. And Josh, I'd, I'd love your view on what's taking place here. This this seems to me to be a uh, econo fear uh, sell off based on some of the data we got today uh, and the fact that yields are dropping, but yields are not necessarily dropping because they think that rate cuts are coming for the right reason. They're dropping because the economy seems to be weakening, and some would suggest weakening faster than the Fed perhaps sees it. Yeah, one of the themes of the first half of this year was people getting a little bit too cute and sort of rooting for bad economic news because they thought it would bring the rate cut quicker. And I always hated that idea, and I still do, by the way. But now what's happening in the market is that bad news is bad news, which I like because it means good news is good news. The bad news is bad news part is really important here. Continuing claims jumped 33,000. Initial claims just hit an 11-month high immediately. You saw the 10-year Treasury drop below 4% for the first time since February 1st of this year. Um, the reality that, and I don't want to say the Fed's behind the curve or any of that stuff. Enough people will say that. But just the reality that we probably should already been, ha have been cutting. Neil Dutta has been screaming that. Professor Jeremy Siegel has been screaming that. This is something that more and more people will start to say. And I think the bond market is now pricing in just this idea that inflation is not the primary fear any longer. A reacceleration of inflation is not what anyone thinks is about to happen. We just saw an ISM number uh, that was pretty low. We, we're, we're now gonna look at an unemployment number that's going to be a high for unemployment that you have to go back to 2020 to see. So now the entire focus of the conversation is going to be on what investments do you wanna have on the books if we're not in a rip-roaring economy and what are some of the areas of the market that should do well as the Fed now pivots to being firmly in the camp of, okay, wait, we might be late already. Let's start to let's start to ease. The market has been sniffing this out, pricing this in. That's what the Russell 2000 rip relative to world stocks was about a couple of weeks ago. And I think that this is probably going to be the trend in force for the remainder of the summer. Liz, uh, Jeffrey Gunlock.